Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to look at a somewhat fuzzy topic that uh, in Excel here, and that's fuzzy lookup. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what this is and how it all works. Um, what fuzzy lookup does is when you're trying to do a lookup between uh, two data ranges or tables, and um, you're trying to extract, like in this case, I want to populate here the IDs from table number one. But unfortunately, the data doesn't match exactly. I have first name and last name that I can use, but you can see I have four examples, two in the first name and two in the second, where the names are spelled slightly different. And that's going to make it a little challenging when you're trying to do exact matches using a lookup function. So that's where Fuzzy Lookup comes in. Here's the link to uh, download that from Microsoft. And when you do, uh, it will put an additional tab in your ribbon here called Fuzzy Lookup. And you can see there, there's a Fuzzy Lookup uh, option there on that ribbon choice. So what happens is, um, the one thing that you want to remember, by the way, a couple things. First of all, uh, you want to put your cursor wherever you want your output to go before you run it so it puts the result at that point. And secondly, it only works with tables. Uh, you cannot work with data ranges. So as you see here, I've converted my um, two data ranges to tables. This one uh, is called address and this one is called ID. So again, I'm going to put my cursor back where I want the output to be, go to Fuzzy Lookup and click on it. And what happens is a dialog box will pop up that will present us with several areas that we need to make some choices in. So first, since Fuzzy Lookup will only work with two tables at a time, it presents an area for left table and right table. And you can uh, click on the down arrow and choose your table. You may have three or four or five tables within your worksheet, and you want to pick the two that you want to use. So you will pick your left table and right table. Here I have ID in one and address in the other. And then from those, you'll identify what fields or columns you want to try to match. So in this case, first name and last name is what we're going to use to try to match between the two to do that lookup. Down in the output columns, it will list all the different column headings from both tables, and you can pick which ones you want in there. I'm just going to leave them all checked. And lastly, there is a similarity threshold. It's a sliding bar, and you can use it to adjust the sensitivity of the match, uh, because sometimes the data might be so variant that you need to dial it down a bit to give Fuzzy Lookup an opportunity to try to find the closest match for the data. Once you fill this in, and again, you have your cursor in the spot where you want to put the data, you just hit go. And I'm going to close this, and you can see now that Excel with Fuzzy Lookup has basically put all the column headings together into one table. So I have my first name, last name from both, the ID, the city, state, so it's all been combined. And notice it's added another column called similarity, and it will show how what percentage of a match it was able to obtain. Some of them were 100% or a thousand percent, depending how you want to look at it, uh, where others were slightly off because of those variations in the names, etc., that we looked at before. So um, it's a nice little tool and a great option that Excel provides in order to try to do lookups when the data doesn't quite match right. This can be used, say, if you have addresses where uh, maybe some uh, one table has uh, the two um, digit abbreviation for states while the other one spells it out, or maybe street versus ST or avenue versus AVE or situations like that where things are just not quite right and matching would be a little bit more challenging with the more traditional V lookup. And there you have it, fuzzy lookup. Hope you liked it. Hope it's useful to you. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe. Happy excelling.